What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing jacks from the amazing digital circus. Let's begin today's lesson in the center page and draw the top edge of the eyes. We leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left and draw a straight line going all the way across towards the left. Now let's line this up over on the right and draw that same length line going out towards the right. Now I'm going to close off the bottom of the eye with a curve. Let's start from the outside. We're going to bend this down and then up on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming down towards the same height and then back up. From the inside, let's step out, draw a straight line coming down on the inside of the pupil. Let's go all the way towards the outside, draw another line coming down. Now I want to fill the inside of the pupils in black. From the inside of the eye, let's curl up the brow and come in and then bend that up. And now I'm going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting underneath the left eye, let's start with a curve going up and then down. I'm just going to curl up the mouth towards the corners, going up towards the right and do the same thing on the left. Now from the left side, we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. Let's come down towards the middle, and round out the mouth and then pull that up towards the right. Now I'm going to separate the teeth with a series of vertical lines. Let's start right in the middle with a straight line coming down, move over towards the left, add two more. Let's do the same thing on the right, adding two lines coming down. Now let's go all the way up towards the top of the head and add a curve. We're going to start on the left, just going to bend this up and then down. And then from the outside, we're just going to bend the ears going out towards the right. Let's start on the left, bend this up and then across. Go to the right side and draw that same curve. Now I want to round out the top of the ear, going around towards the top, bring that down towards the left side. Now I want to taper the ear so it gets a little bit narrower as we come back in towards the top of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. I'm going to go up and then bend this around, come in and then taper that down towards the top of the head. Now we're going to draw a large oval going around the side of the head. Let's start from the left side, we're going to go around the face, let's bend that in just underneath the mouth, and then work our way all the way around the right side, going around the face and the eyes, and just pull that in towards the base of the ear. Now along the top we're going to add the eyebrows. Let's leave a gap in the center, start on the left. We're going to bend this up and then down, let's line this up on the right, going up and then coming down at an angle. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the body. We're going to start with the side of the neck, leaving a gap in the center. Let's start on the left. We're going to come all the way down along the inside of that strap. Let's go over towards the right and draw that same length line. Let's flatten off the bottom of the strap, going out. Now we're going to pull this up towards the top of the shoulders, just underneath the head. And we'll pull that straight in towards the side. Now along the bottom, we draw a small circle for the button. From the side of the strap, let's step out, draw two straight lines coming down towards the hips. Let's move to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and down. Now we leave a gap in the center, go over towards the left side, we're going to bend the left leg, going out and then down towards the heel. Go to the right, go out and down towards the same height. Now we want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw the top of the foot. We're going to bend this up and then bend this back down towards the inside of the leg, just up above the heel. And then we'll go all the way back up towards the hip. We're just going to bend the outside of the leg going out and then down on top of the feet. Let's separate the toes with two curves. Start from the outside, go up and bend that in. Step in and draw that again. Now on the right side, we're going to go in the opposite direction, starting on the outside. Now from the bottom of the leg, we're going to step up and add a curve. Coming in. 
Now let's go back up to the top. In between the buttons, draw a straight line going across the middle. And we'll continue that line going out towards the side. Now in the center, let's step down, draw a straight line going across. And we'll draw a large rectangle coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to draw the arms coming down the side. From the top of the body, let's step down, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. And it'll round out the wrist with a curve. Now, from the top corner of the strap, we're going to step down, bend the outside of the arm. We're going to go out and then down towards the bottom of the wrist. And then we'll wrap that cuff around the wrist. From the outside, we're going to step up, draw an oval, going all the way around and then back in. Let's go to the inside of the cuff. We're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb and close off the end with a bracket. Now on each side, we're going to wrap three fingers around the hand. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb. We're going to come down and bend that up around that bracket. Step down, come down and up. And then the third finger, we're going to go all the way around the hand and then in towards the cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.